some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Portland, Oregon with a sovereign citizen who refuses to go through a body scanner and they offer him an uh, alternative to go through the pat down, but he outright refuses that too. So he whines and cries about his rights being violated, his right to travel being violated, and all that other stuff. Until a police officer shows up and he tries to spiel on him too. Unfortunately for him, it doesn't work out too well for him. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. You luck to go through it unless if you meet special conditions. What special conditions? He wants to know what special conditions are that allow a person to go through. Person traveling with uh, children, 75 and older, or if they're pre-checked. So you, you're aware that you guys do not have the right to discriminate based upon age? Because that's, that's the same as racist discrimination. That's the same as gender discrimination. Not all ages are protected by constitutional requirements, but I, it's actually only over a certain age. I'm sorry, but I don't, I don't recognize the Constitution as protecting anybody. What the fuck? <laughs> Then what the hell are you doing living in the United States anyway with that kind of mindset? Even the dumbest frauditor I've ever seen on YouTube will tell you otherwise that they believe the Constitution does protect them from anything. But let's carry on with this guy's inane stupidity. Already he's saying things that would get people pissed off. I'm born with my rights, are you not? Do you believe that uh, a document that was signed over 200 years ago gives you rights? How deluded are you, dude? I mean, if you go to certain other countries like North Korea, uh, yeah, you're not going to have any rights whatsoever. Of course a paper that uh, was signed over 200 years ago does grant you rights. In fact, why don't you do that? Why don't you go ahead and pack up and go to North Korea at the very least to see what kind of rights are lost when you have a totalitarian regime that's, well, very brutal to say the least. So here's the thing. I gave you three opportunities here and you got a choice. Um, if you would like to go through AIT, of course it's an option to you. If you choose not to do that, you can do the opt-out. Um, with that, I would give you the advisements far before we go there so you know what to expect. Um, if you choose not to do that, you'll have to make other arrangements. So Is there a way that I can get out without having the risk of cancer upon my body and without getting sexually molested? Well, that's your interpretation. Mm -hmm. Would you like somebody to touch your balls? Like, is that something well, that you... Through the pat -down okay. procedure. And how did that feel? It, it really didn't bother me that okay. much. Well, you've probably never been a victim of sexual molestation, have you? Right, I so okay. I wouldn't understand what that was like. So do you, do you realize that you force several thousands of people every day who have been a victim of that to undergo a, a traumatic uh, pat-down, as you call it, when really it's just a molestation? Okay. So the choices here are clear. And, and the website... The AIT, I mean, they're, I'm not going to try to convince you that it's safe. Um, I'm not going to convince you that it isn't. You have the information that you can read right there that tells you exactly what risk levels are available to, to you. Well, you guys um, even lie about the risk levels. I don't lie about anything. Well, the website lies, and you are here as a representative of TSA. Okay. And you, so I expect that what comes out of your mouth is what TSA is saying to okay. me. What, right? what is TSA saying there? What have you told me that makes it a lie? TSA is saying that the imaging that they use is non-ionizing, and there's no way that you can determine that because each person is different, and the level at which the radiation may ionize within somebody's body can be different for different people. 
Given all the verbal diarrhea that's already come out of his pie hole, I'm going to have to ask for a citation on that because, you know what, you're not a very reliable source of information, you know? So you have no way to ensure... When you're ensure standing outside, you consider that the radiation, the radiation risk level of being outside is too great to be outside? There are times where the sun does use ionizing radiation, when and, but, that is, plane, but that is a choice. When you're aboard the plane and they say that it's equivalent to a certain level of exposure, do you I feel that, that risk level is too I haven't, high? I haven't encountered that. I have concerns with the body scanner technology. Well, I'm only I, saying it because obviously there's a certain degree of risk in everything we do, right? This has been determined safe as as it, as you know, by the, the evaluations that have been, you know, both both the safety evaluations and the testing evaluations have determined it safe. I have no reason to discount that as anything other than safe. You've made a determination that you're allowed to make, which is you're not comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's, your website that's indicated. That's more than fair. I've, it's more than fair. I wouldn't tell you that you're wrong for having that personal view. But listen for a second, please. I am listening. I bought my plane ticket mm -hmm. with the understanding from your website that I could either choose to go through a body scanner or I could choose... I didn't see where it was giving you an option of a metal detector. It said the two options that you use. No, it says the two primary... or two... Uh, the two devices, two, two pieces two of equipment. Two primary methods of security yeah. screening. So there was nothing in there which indicated only people of a certain age are allowed to go through the metal detector. There was nothing that indicated to me that I would not be able to go through a metal detector. So I bought a plane ticket, which is non-refundable, under the condition that I would be able to pass through a metal detector. So and now you're trying to there, limit my right to travel. At, at, at this point... Well, first of all, Softard, they're not limiting your right to travel. They have specific requirements that you've got to follow. If you do not follow those requirements, then the airline can choose not to do business with you. That is their right. Second of all, the airline in question, which is Alaska Airline, because they mention it later on, they do have a return policy for their tickets, and it seems to be a very fair one. So go ahead and go to the airline itself and see if you can get reimbursed for your ticket instead of acting like a persecuted softard and go through the proper channels to get your money back and find some other mode of transportation to get to your destination. It's as simple as that, but seeing as how you've proven to be a simpleton already, I guess it's far beyond your mental capabilities. Is there anything I can do to end your compliance with this, or are we just done? Um, I can file a lawsuit against you. Okay, you're welcome to do so, but I, I can't. Well, what, I can't spend any more time debating it because I have no authority to debate the procedures. I cannot make an exception for you to screen you differently based on your viewpoint, what I can tell you is these are the two options that are available to you. There are no other options that I'm able to offer you at this point in time. Well, if you walk away, I'm just going to go through the line and try again. So I'm going to do this, and next time I won't stand out of line. Mm -hmm. So we need to come to a determination here because you are limiting my right to travel. You are making it so that my ticket, which I paid for, is void because I can't use it if I can't get on the plane. So are you going to recompense me for that cost? Since it's your fault, since your website indicated that I could use a metal detector? I mean, you can either let me fly. Well, I looked at the website and both are available, but they promote the body scanner more than they do the metal detector. But still, it appears though he's just BSing everything else about the website. Or you can give me my money back. Well, those are neither of the options that are available. Why? As I just told you. Why is your website a lie? It isn't. You just read it to me. Yes. And you just said that, that you never said in there that that's an option available to you. Okay. It never said it wasn't. It, it did too. It said the two it security didn't say that methods. Was an option for you. It didn't say that the body scanner was an option for me either. It did say it was a primary. It said that they were both primary methods. Well, if you want to read it again, maybe we could do that, or I could pull it up. But I, 
I really don't want to debate it with well, you. It's go ahead and go ahead and pull it up and either give me my money back or allow me to pass through and fly. You know what I think? I think that this is a great opportunity for you to make something out of this situation. And I don't feel that you actually are interested in following through with going through either one of those options because you said that you're not comfortable with them. So I really can't accommodate anything else myself. So I told you what your options are. You're not choosing those. So I'm done talking with you at this point in time. Okay, so I can go through the metal detector then? No. Oh, well, how can I get to my flight then? Show me a pathway so that I can go to my airplane, which I paid for. Or give me my money back. Well, I'd be happy to walk out and put a good in word in uh, with the airlines, but I don't determine that. That's not, that's not me, you know, I have no say on, that's a private type thing, that's not anything that I have control over. Okay, so would you like to walk with me back to the airline and see if we can get that. the money back? Absolutely. And if I can't, then I'm going to come back and attempt to pass through security again. Well, that would be up to you, but I'd be happy to go out with you and put a good word in for you and okay. see what they're able to do. I mean, it's their, it's their determination ultimately. Well, isn't it your fault? Well, it doesn't. I don't know at this point that it matters who's at fault. It, what matters is getting you a resolution to your situation. Okay, so you're will. I mean, so you're willing to put in a good word to the airline, and yeah. if their policy says they can't, then will TSA well, refund me? I'm going to hope for the best on this. Okay. You're not going to leave my side, are you? No, I'll go out with you. You promise? Absolutely. Okay. I'm good for my work. Let's go. So, just going to brief the officer real quick. Okay. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Good. So, what's up? Um, this guy isn't letting me go through the metal detector like the website said I could. And he is telling me that I either have to go through a cancer-causing body scanner or get molested before I can get on the plane. Well, I don't I think you said you had to get molested. Well, he, he calls it a pat-down, but that's a euphemism for sexual molestation. Okay, not in my experience, but... Have you ever been sexually molested? I've been... I've gone through the checkpoint Have you times. ever been sexually molested? No, I have not. Okay. Well, all right, so we're going to have to go through whatever scan they, they choose for you to go through, and you're going to have to go through a pat-down. Okay, I'm not or, getting a pat-down, and I'm not going through a cancer... Okay, then, thing. Well, right, then we're out of luck. Well, so at this point, what I've told him is that the primary means of screening is the ART. Mm -hmm. That he's more than welcome to go through that. He doesn't want to do that, which I said is his right. Mm -hmm. And he has the alternate option, which is opting out. He can opt out. Right. And then he be subjected to a pat down. He doesn't want to do that. And right. I said, well, at this point, there's a third option, which is he's more than welcome to leave. His concern around that is he already paid money for his ticket. I said, I'd be happy to go out. I said, this is their choice totally. I, I'm not saying the airlines would do it. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to go out with you, put a good word in for you. Maybe they'd be willing to refund your money. Maybe they won't. What airline is it? Alaska. Okay. But I figured we could go out there, and right. if, that's what, if that's what he's comfortable doing is saying, I, I just want my money back, and and I'll go do something else, I mean, I'd, ha I'd be happy to help that process yeah. along. Um, you know, I mean... I don't want him to be feeling like he's forced to do anything. Really oh, I feel like you're limiting my right to travel, which is my right as a native to America. I'm, my okay, and everyone, everyone has to go through some sort of security. Well, not everyone, because well, I'm willing to go through the metal detector, and they've told me that people at certain ages are allowed to go through the metal detector, and I believe that's age discrimination. I believe that they're not well, legally allowed to okay, participate in age right discrimination. Now, right Please now. don't interrupt next time. Right now, we have option A, which is to go through the scanner, option B, which is to go through the pat-down, or option C is we'll try to get your refund and you can find another means of travel. And why does the option that is listed on the website, which is use the metal detector, why is that I taken away from me? I don't know if you can't read or you're just being dishonest because the website does not say that 
the metal detector is an alternative option. And why are you arguing with these two anyway? Because if it, this policy about the metal detector, it comes from the top, neither one of these guys can help you out because they're trying to cover their own jobs. They're not going to make an exception to help you out. I mean, I'm not going to speak to that. I mean, first of all, like we looked at the verbiage of it. That's not how I interpret the ver verbiage. Um, it is how you interpret it. It's not how I interpret it. I don't know that 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 anybody. I'm not saying I wouldn't think that most people would interpret it that way. Um, uh, I, I respect your perspective, but I'm just saying I don't I don't interpret it that way, and I don't think it's indicating that at all. Um, it didn't sound like that when you read it to me, and I, you know, uh, from what I know on our knowing the procedures, that's not what it indicates in any way. Um, Are you so, aware that it is unlawful to discriminate based upon age, race, or gender? Are you aware of that? Well, I'm also aware that Article 16 special needs searches gives certain parameters that say that this um, is a little bit different than your normal search and seizure out in the public, right? This is different. So there's been special, the bike Congress has, has given legal parameters that are different under this environment than they are outside this environment. So then why can you not use your authority and wise judgment to allow me to pass through a metal detector, which is I know to be safe. You can screen me adequately. Okay, what, what was your first name? My name is Robbie. Robbie, all right, we're not getting very far. There's, no matter how long you stand well, here. Well, I want answers to the questions. Okay, but, well, they're not going to get answered here. And no matter how long you stand here, the options are still going to be A, B, C. If there's not going to be a D, there's not going to be an A1. And why are you speaking for TSA in this matter? No, I'm speaking for the airport. What, because, how do you represent the airport? Uh, okay, it says Port of Portland Police. I assume that's correct. City of Portland. Port of Portland. Okay, what's that? You're standing in it. Okay, so you have the authority the, to remove you if you do not are not willing to go through screening. You don't have the authority to remove me. No, I do. No, you don't. That would be assault. No, it wouldn't be assault. Yes, it would it be, I'm in a public place. Okay. Right now, just pay attention. If you want to record it, record it. Since you're not willing to go through screening, I am. They've all no. They've given you the options. You're not willing to take the options they've given you. So I am. I, are you going to do A or B? I'm willing to go through the metal detector, which is right. listed on the website. Done. You're Thanks. not willing? No, we're done. I'm telling you, I'm giving you a lawful order as a police officer that you have to leave. Well, I don't recognize that authority. Uh, you don't recognize the U.S. Constitution as an authority, and you don't recognize any police officers as an authority. What do you recognize as an authority figure? Why, okay, why, let's try number two. Right now, you are not allowed to be here. Why? You're not going through the screening process. I'm giving you a lawful order to leave, or you will be arrested for trespass. Why am I not allowed to Robbie, be here? Robbie, are you listening to me? I am. I'm asking because you questions. Because you're not going through the process. You'll have to walk out here. Are you, are you attempting to not listen and answer my questions? Would you like to walk out here now? I would like to go on my flight, which I paid for. 61. Well, now, there's where the video ends. He didn't get any satisfaction, and he proved himself to be a moron all the way around. I mean, couldn't even recognize the U.S. Constitution or the authority of this police officer. I mean, if he didn't recognize the U.S. Constitution as a uh, legitimate source of the uh, rights we possess, then he should just go to North Korea. At any rate, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.